Hey everyone, Shabby Gamer here, and welcome to one of the top matches from our SWE Universe mode. This is AJ Styles vs Apollo Crews, live from Adrenaline. Let's get to it. And time then for our big debutante from Mayhem to make his appearance, of course. Like I said, if you watch Mayhem the other night, you'll know exactly who this is going to be. If not, you're pretty sure you know who it is right now. The phenomenal AJ Styles has joined Adrenaline. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. He was part, of course, of the stable. He's part of the Bullet Club stable over on Mayhem alongside Finn Balor, as well as, of course, um, Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson. However, to get Matanza over to Mayhem, which was a massive trade deal for PJ Toby, he needed Matanza as a genuine opposition for Brock Lesnar, which if you've seen the Mayhem episode, you'll know that he was genuine opposition. He had to give something big back to Adrenaline. And this was the one thing that made the most sense. Mainly because of... Um, mainly because it was... Um, you just look at the combination of matches you can have here. Shinsuke Nakamura. Okada. Zayn. Kevin Owens. Just to name a few incredible matches that, that AJ Styles has here in his future. It really is going to be awesome. I love the fact that Daniel Bryan was taking the piss out of this whole thing. This whole storyline by telling Chad Gable he's his father. I thought that was just bloody hilarious, that. And of course, AJ Styles' first opponent here on Adrenaline is going to be a man who's not had a lot of exposure so far in this universe mode and that is Apollo Crews but you never know a victory in a match like this really could propel him up the ranks and give him more opportunities in the future he's actually scheduled to be on next week's show as well Apollo Crews he's got a match against Neville so that'd be interesting Neville of course currently bottom of the rankings in SWE can't seem to pick up a victory at all um, and next week he's got an opportunity to see if he can actually pick one up against Apollo Crews but Apollo he will not want to lose two weeks in a row. He won't even want to lose once. And I think both Neville and AJ Styles have really got a lot on their plate here this evening. Apollo Crews. It's, it's going to be an interesting match, this. I think Apollo Crews is a very, a very underrated star in WWE. I know he's being utilised a bit better now as part of this Titus brand situation, but... I feel like he needs to spend a bit of time in the old acting class, I think, mean, just to develop a bit more of a character. He's fantastic in the ring. You cannot deny that whatsoever, but we need to uh, we need to build him up a little bit, don't we? And for us, this could be a great uh, opportunity for him. Great chance for both these guys. AJ desperate to get the win on his debut here. Not at the best of times over on Mayhem. A couple of big losses in number one contendership matches. And, uh, of course, like I said, Apollo Crews not really set the world on fire yet in SWE or WWE. So he needs to t he needs to think about picking up a big win. This is the sort of win that, that if Crews can pull this off, he could be escalated up into the Intercontinental Championship picture. Why not? Why the freaking hell not? What have I got going on? Oh, I know what I've got going on. We've got some big stuff happening for you the next few weeks, actually. Some big, big stuff. Apollo Crews here just twisting the head of AJ Styles. Just realised I've forgotten to do something. Okay. That's quite important to do as well. Okay, well, I'll get it done. Crews now up on the middle rope, dropping the double elbows. Right across the face of AJ Styles and stamping on the arm as well. How about a brand new women's champion here on Adrenaline? Not been done at all on season two so far. But this is the first championship match we've seen, let alone championship change. And it's big, isn't it? It's nice. I think it's nice to have some every now and again. Um, rather than confining championship matches solely to pay-per-views. I think myself and PJ Toby are going to have to look at maybe giving them matches around a little bit more freely, I think. Um, maybe not for new champions, but for people that have held the belts for quite some time. People like, um, for example, DIY. 
They've now held the belts for over a month. Uh, we know they're faced off against Phoenix and Drago at the pay-per-view, but could that match have been a little bit earlier in the week, uh, earlier in the month maybe? Do you want to see that? Do you want to see more championship matches? Or would you rather them be a bit more special and only happen at the special pay-per-views? I don't know. I think if we do too many championship matches, it might devalue the championship a little bit. But AJ Styles with a two count from the phenomenal forearm. From the phenomenal forearm. That's a little bit of a tongue twister. Now AJ lining up Apollo Crews. Hoist him up. This could be a quick victory here for AJ if he did this as well. He's hit the phenomenal forearm. He's hit the Styles clash. There's the pin. One, two. No, and again, Apollo Crews kicked out. Ooh, interesting. Like I said, Apollo really knows that this match is really make or break for him at the moment, really. Either he can push himself into a bit more of a... Uh, a bit more of a consistent championship picture or he can be pushed back into obscurity in the dark matches double power bomb Apollo now bringing Styles back up to his feet and a step up into Guri right to the side of the head Apollo Crews is taunting away Styles back in control sending Cruz into the corner. Cruz catches him with a boot in the face, though. Into a short Saito suplex. Apollo Cruz now just pressing AJ above his head and drops him. In for the standing moonsault by Apollo Cruz. One, two. Oh, and AJ kicked out now as well. AJ looked like he struggled there, though. He really had to put his back into that. AJ back up on his feet, but... Cruz caught him, but AJ now falling behind Cruz. But AJ just not able to, uh, to build on that aggression. Cruz running forearm... AJ dropping, and Apollo Crews is slowly taking full control of this match. Clothesline, a second clothesline. Big splash in the corner. Wow, he got some big height on that. And another huge clothesline by Apollo Crews. A little bit glitchy there as well. But AJ starts to be breaking out. AJ... Catching Apollo Crews into a powerbomb. Rolls through as well. Stacks him up. Two. Oh, and again, it's only a two count. What a match here between AJ Styles and Apollo Crews. Really wasn't expecting the quality that we've had here, to be honest. AJ Styles once again stalking Apollo Crews. In for a phenomenal forearm. Takes him down second of the evening. There's the pin. One. Two. And free and AJ Styles does pick up a victory here on his debut in Adrenaline. And Apollo Crews, although he lost, put on a very good performance here. And that must make PJ Toby think a bit more about potentially using him a bit better here on Adrenaline. Like I said, he is penciled in for a match next week against Neville on the old TV show. So definitely worth keeping an eye out for that. Maybe he can uh, make hay for what has happened here this evening. Or maybe Neville can finally start to turn his universe mode around a little bit. <coughs> Standing moonsault there by Apollo Crews. This is the point in the match where I thought he'd turn this one around, but unfortunately for him, it just wasn't quite enough. There was a phenomenal forearm. And of course, it was enough to keep Apollo Crews down for the three. AJ Styles victorious, takes the ranking points. And what will SWE Adrenaline hold for AJ Styles over the next few weeks, building towards our next pay-per-view? I believe that PJ is going to give him an opportunity to work his way into the championship picture, but let's wait and see what happens on that.